everyone. Hope you're having a, a good Friday. As promised, I'm going to read you the email that uh, Riley and Madison sent to me um, about their alleged sightings. Uh, they seen it twice uh, in the uh, kind of the south central part of Kentucky. Um, I had my wife run the email off on the paper form, so you're going to hear some papers obviously shuffling around the background and it's just a little bit easier for me to read because I'm an old fart and my sight's starting to fail me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, that was unnecessary, sorry. And also I am playing uh, Furry Grandpa this weekend. Uh, I have to watch my son's uh, docks and puppy and this thing is a four-legged piranha, let me tell you. So um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible. Uh, now back to the email. Um, I don't obviously know these people from Adam. They seem like good kids. Um, they're both enrolled, um, at Ashbury Christian College in Wilmore, Kentucky. Um, they're both 21 years old. Uh, Riley works as a, a groundkeeper at two different churches in the area. And Madison is a receptionist. So I, I uh, you know, right off the bat, respect them for uh, working for what they're going to get in life. So that kind of tells me a little bit about their character and, and possibly their their credibility. Um, <clears throat> but again, I can't verify uh, any, any part of this story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the picture that you see in front of you, um, I'm hoping some of you out there will recognize it and maybe help you put a little... A few more pieces of the puzzle together about me. Um, I won't give you the year this was taken, uh, but it was taken in March, and as you can tell, it's an actual photo. It's not. Uh, it's not downloaded from Google or anything like that. So, uh, take all these hints I'm getting you and uh, remember them. Okay, uh, this this email does have some grammar issues, but you know me, I'm just going to read it raw. I ain't about uh, making th things sound perfect or being perfect. Um, just feel it's better that way. Uh, a couple things I, I want to talk to you about after <clears throat> I'm done reading this. So anyway, let's get into this. Hi, Roger. Madison and I want to thank you for not being judgmental and for being so kind during our phone conversation. We can't imagine the pain and sorrow you must live with daily due to your horrible encounter. Madison and I love hunting for Indian artifacts, unique rocks, and geosashing. We used to geosash in a group with other members from our college we attend in Wilmore, Kentucky, Ashbury Christian College. Most of the members lost interest due to the sometimes harsh conditions we went out in. So now, Madison and I locate old, forgotten-about sash sites to see if there's any goodies left over. The particular date is September 2022, around 1 p.m. near Croger Springs, close to the Big South Fork Cumber Cumberland River. We stopped for munchie break and to check our GPS. I kept hearing... What I thought was someone coughing or covering up a deep belch by covering their mouth with their hand, if you understand what I mean. And yes, I do understand. We all do it. A few seconds later, we heard underbrush snapping to our right. As we turn in the direction of the noise, we plainly seen what looked to be a werewolf-type animal staring at us. The creature was less than 30 feet from us, just staring. It was covered in patchy black hair with a hint of white or gray running throughout. Its body, from thighs up, was extremely muscular and defined. Now, from the, they mean from the thighs up is because uh, uh, the rest of the body, the legs, you know, thighs down, obviously, uh, was uh, it was standing in in underbrush and stuff like that, so they didn't see if it had kneecaps or the size of the feet or which way the uh, which way the knees were bending, anything like that. So um, its eyes were large and looked to be 
light brown or possibly a dull yellow. We see no claws or bearing of teeth. Overall height and weight, approximately 7 foot, 400 pounds. After 30 seconds or so of this creature simply staring at us, it turned and walked back into the forest and disappeared. Madison nor myself had any fear or that we were in any danger at all. Madison did snap a photo of it when it was returning to the wilderness, but she's hesitant in making the photo public. And I did talk to her personally about this, and I told her if she was to show me this photo, um, I gave her my word that uh, uh, not another soul would uh, uh, would see it or nor, know any more particulars about the picture itself. So uh, I hope she thinks that over and does let me see it. That'd be so interesting. Um, okay, and this is the, the second account. Our second encounter was April 2023, around 9 a.m., near Turkey Creek, approximately two miles off Sheltoe Trace Road. Uh, the, I guess that's within this, this whole uh, Sheltoe Trace um, trail system, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, we were informed by a, a local treasure hunter in Pine Knot, Kentucky, that there was good finds around the Turkey Creek area. Okay, switch my paper. We started out fairly early because this area is pretty dense and hard to maneuver in. We basically just started rooting through the creek bottom and the banks and heard a deep, long grumble. Okay, I'm not familiar with what a grumble is, so maybe you guys can fill me in on that. Maybe they just meant a growl or something. Um, Madison turned around so quickly she lost balance, taking an unwanted bath in the murky water. Approximately 50 feet up the creek, we seen the same werewolf-type creature standing in the water, only this time it looked to have a large walking stick in its hand. Once again, we felt no danger was going to come to us. But for some dumb reason, this is Riley speaking now, for some dumb reason, I felt that I felt it was necessary to yell at it. I said, are you of the devil? It took the walking stick and pointed towards the sky and again simply walked up the creek and disappeared. That's interesting. Um, if this did indeed happen... Um, you know why would it uh, why would it point towards the sky? I mean that's was it saying it was you know uh, you know it came from heaven or uh, the sky you know something I don't know I have no clue but that's very interesting. Um, we have prayed about the these encounters and your name keeps popping into our heads. Madison and I both believe you are the one to come find this thing. We just can't explain it. And they sign off, may God live in you and guide to guide others. Truly, Riley. Okay. So you can take, uh, I guess, take what you want from that and, and uh, you know, say it's BS or say it's true. I, I can't, you know, I can't say either way. I really, you know, I've said this a few times about other people, but I really can't see these particular two kids uh, uh, lying about this, um, you know. Maybe they just want to, you know, get some adventure in their life, and they they could have made the story up. Who knows? But, you know, with the background that they have, and and uh, you know the college and everything um, that they're going to, the Christian college. And yeah, I know. I mean, Christian people lie too. Christian people are fake too. So uh, I get it. I know what everybody's uh, not everybody, but what you know, some of your comments are going to be. So I I totally agree with that. That's why I say alleged. Um, now, to get to what I was going to ask you, this is kind of a strange uh, a, a strange request or an opinion, but everyone I've talked to, and, and what's leading to this real quick is, is I did call, um, uh, you know, the, the Kentucky D Department of Wildlife, and as you know, Shiloh still has uh, uh, good connections with them uh, because she'd worked there, and um, th there hasn't been, and in this particular this particular area, there hasn't been a single out-of-the-normal report. 
And I know, you know, there's those of you out there that's going to say, well, it's a conspiracy. They're told to shut up. And do you really think there's going to be any officials, you know, tell you the truth about uh, having reports? That that very well could be. But, you know, come on, people. Not everything is a conspiracy uh, a theory. It, it just could be people aren't uh, uh, reporting seeing things uh, or there just hasn't. There just hasn't been anything seen okay it could be that simple um they said uh you know that there has been reports of black bear and of course there's a lot of uh you know poisonous steaks and everything else in that area uh, i don't know about big cats or anything like that but they said the main thing um because they're open uh 24 7 365 so there's travel through there even in the winter uh, but there's a lot of people do get lost, so they have a lot of, uh, you know, calls where they got to get people out, even if they have GPS and phones, blah, blah, blah. They have to go find them and get them out. Uh, nobody's been lost permanently, thank God, or, or that I have known, you know, from what they told me. Um, but the big problem, and here's what, here's what my question is to you people. Maybe you can, you that are familiar with, with the... Uh, small towns in Kentucky or Kentucky in general is the state is they have meth heads is the is the biggest problems in these uh in these parks and the park systems why um and and this has nothing to do with with the the people I know or downgrading Kentucky one bit I I mean you know I wouldn't do that that's just just not how I'm wired but if Kentucky is such a poor, deprived state, why is there so many meth heads? Why is there so many uh, uh, opioid users? If if everybody is is uh, you know uh, you know hypothetically say if everybody is so poor in Kentucky, how are they affording these drugs? Um, they're not they're not cheap to manufacture in your home. So they got to have money to, to, to self-manufacture. Uh, so, I mean, how? I, I just don't get it. Um, how, uh, you know, the, the unemployment rate is, is really bad and things like that. And I know uh, people aren't, or I hope they're not, people aren't just handing out free, free you know, drugs, opioids, and giving people uh, free meth to smoke or shoot up or however the hell they do it. But that's my question. What I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. How uh, a uh, a state can be so poor, but it seems like uh, you know it's the poor ones, unfortunately, that are doing these drugs, and they keep doing them, and they keep have access to them. And I know there's a lot of stealing going on, and and uh you know stuff like that you know pawn shop stuff they basically sell off everything they own and or steal to get to drugs but that's got to run out too so how how is this happening and uh you know it's it's getting so bad it's becoming an epidemic within our parks uh more so than quote unquote you know cryptids being being seen so yeah if any of you can answer that for me, that'd be great. Um, I got some things going on as well uh, where I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm, I'm writing them down, I'm looking them over, and I'm getting back to the people. And that there, I have four people now uh, that want me to kind of do uh, paranormal stuff uh, either in their homes or on their property. So um, I'm just going to let them build up until there's enough of them I can actually weed through to see if how legitimate they are and and, uh, you know, if, if I can get this off the ground and if this is just maybe, you know, just a, a splurge that I'm getting and then it'll be dry for the rest of the year if, these, if it's going to keep coming in like this. And if it is, it might start something up, you know. It might start, uh, uh, you know, exploring the paranormal world uh, like, like Ben wanted to do. So, anyway, that's it, people. I appreciate your time. You have a great weekend. Let me know what you think of uh, this sighting. And um, I'm going to start reading off uh, more of these emails. And again, I apologize. I am not blessed like uh, uh, like Elijah Henderson uh, and, and his daddy, uh, Johnny. Uh, they, were they were touched by God when it come to uh, doing things like this. That, that, uh, I just wish... Uh, 
I just wish I could learn from them because they, they tell it's just so natural to them. It's just uh, it's just amazing. So I'll try to get better. Everybody, God bless, Godspeed, and I'll chat at you later.